An airplane, also known as an airplane, is a flying vehicle designed to be able to travel through the air. The concept of flying has been around for centuries, with early designs including kites and gliders. However, it wasn't until the Wright brothers successfully flew their airplane in 1903 that the modern age of aviation truly began. Since then, airplanes have become an integral part of transportation and have revolutionized the way we travel. In this video, we will take a closer look at how airplanes work. The anatomy of an airplane. Before we dive into how airplanes work, let's first take a look at the different parts that make up an airplane. The main components of an airplane include Fuselage. This is the main body of the airplane that holds the cockpit, passenger cabin, and cargo area. Wings. The wings are responsible for lifting the airplane into the air and keeping it aloft. Engines. The engines provide the thrust necessary to move the airplane forward. Tail. The tail includes the horizontal stabilizer and vertical fin, which provide stability and control. Landing gear. The landing gear consists of wheels or floats that allow the airplane to take off and land. How an airplane stays in the air. Now that we have a basic understanding of the different parts of an airplane, Let's take a closer look at how an airplane stays in the air. There are four main forces that act on an airplane in flight. Lift. This is the force that keeps the airplane in the air. Lift is generated by the wings as they move through the air. Weight. This is the force of gravity acting on the airplane, pulling it down towards the ground. Thrust. This is the force that propels the airplane forward. Thrust is generated by the engines. Drag. This is the force that opposes the motion of the airplane. Drag is caused by the resistance of the air as the airplane moves through it. To stay in the air, the airplane must generate enough lift to counteract its weight and enough thrust to counteract its drag. This is achieved through the design of the wings and the engines. The shape of the wings is designed to create lift by creating a difference in air pressure between the top and bottom of the wing. This is known as the Bernoulli principle. The engines provide the necessary thrust to move the airplane forward. How an airplane takes off. Now that we know how an airplane stays in the air, let's take a look at how it takes off. The takeoff process can be broken down into three main phases. Taxi. Before takeoff. The airplane must first taxi to the runway. The pilot uses the steering wheel and pedals to control the airplane as it moves along the ground. Takeoff roll. Once the airplane reaches the runway, the pilot accelerates the engines to provide enough thrust to start moving the airplane forward. As the airplane gains speed, the wings begin to generate lift, and the airplane starts to rise off the ground. Climb. Once the airplane is airborne, the pilot raises the nose of the airplane to increase the angle of attack. This increases the lift generated by the wings and allows the airplane to climb. How an airplane flies. Now that the airplane is in the air, let's take a look at how it flies. There are four main phases of flight. Climb. During the climb phase, the airplane continues to gain altitude until it reaches its cruising altitude. Cruise. Once the airplane reaches its cruising altitude, 